How's it everybody? Celtic Link here and happy Goku Day. In today's video we are talking Book of War. We're going to talk about who I think you should be choosing with the three Book of Wars that you have received from your login bonus on uh, Gohan Day yesterday. So uh, let's start talking. Let's look at some of the units that they've added. Looks like I was right in my initial prediction video uh, going over the celebration info in that they would add some new units. I had expect I, I had predicted that they might add this Fizz Super Saiyan to Gohan, which they did. So there he is going to be a choice that you can pick up. They also added the AGL GT Goku and the Int Goten. Um, so we're going to talk about all of these units in combination, but these are the three new units. So with the Book of War, uh, you have the option to pick uh, any three units from the Son family, right? So your options are the AGL Team Gohan, the STR Super Saiyan Goku, and the STR Super Saiyan Goten. All three from the family Kamehameha from the Broly movie, right? Uh, your other options include the Fizz Super Saiyan Goku from the Cooler movie, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the Cell Fight, Ultimate Gohan, the Fizz and the AGL version, Tech Kaioken Goku and AGL Kid Goten, along with the three new additions that I mentioned earlier. Um, now, as far as who I think you should choose, we're going to kind of rank them in order um, from top priority to least priority and then include some honorable mentions and we'll talk about kind of what each one does and why i think you should choose that one so let's start with number one all right first and foremost if you don't have any unit on this list you should prioritize getting the agl kid gohan once extreme z awakened he becomes a very very powerful unit especially if you happen to have the Int Majin Vegeta and you can run him on a 200% team. Uh, but even without that, he's still pretty powerful so long as you have his Trunks counterpart. Um, uh, basically what he does upon Extreme Z Awakening is he has key 3 HP attack and defense 100%. He causes supreme damage to enemy on his super attack and raises attack and defense for 6 turns. So he's getting all that power and he's stacking. Um, his passive is attack and defense 100% at the start of turn, plus an additional attack and defense 100% when performing a super attack. He has a chance of performing a critical hit, uh, 18%, and he reduces uh, damage received and all allies attack and defense 18% when there is a Trunks on in the team, or uh, attacking in the same turn, or when there is a Krillin or 18 on the team. So. You could make take advantage uh, of his passive when running a Krillin or 18, but like realistically, you really want the Fizz Trunks counterpart to him, which basically does the same thing except with uh, Goten instead of Trunks included in the passive. Um, he is probably one of the best EZAs on this list, and if you don't have him, he should be your number one priority to pick. Next up for your number two choice, I'm going to go with the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Gohan here. I say he's number two because uh, you guys have probably seen a couple of my Majin Buu Saga showcases. He's been, uh, he's been in quite a few of them because he is such a great support unit uh, in general, right? Upon it... EZAing him if you can you can EZA him from the hero extermination plan EZA area he gets all types key 3 attack and defense 60% but you're not really going to be running him for his uh, leader skill anyways he does greatly raise attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage so that greatly raises along with what we're about to read in the rest of his passive make him an excellent third slot floater to support your rotations right he gets attack and defense 100 percent in his passive he gets all allies key to an attack and defense 35 percent so really good uh support not a full 40 percent but the fact that it's all allies and it's not uh excluded to a category makes him really solid he also has a medium chance of performing a critical hit and a medium chance of evading enemies attack starting from the turn in which the carrier has performed a third super attack in battle 
right? So you could keep them on rotation for a for like a turn or two after investing some additionals in him. And by turn three or four, depending on when you get him, you can go ahead and rotate him off. Or you could just keep him in the third slot altogether since he does greatly raise uh, defense uh, in on super attack. So he could just stick around in the third slot and be just fine uh, once he picks up that medium chance to dodge as well. So I make him your second pick. So again, top one pick is the AJL Goten. Top two pick is this Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Top three pick, right? So your 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 next leading choice should be the Tech Kaioken Goku. If you're a newer player, he is definitely a good option for you, uh, especially because, you know, Goku's family units tend to be very very abundant and he as you can see here is a goku's family lead for key three hp attack and defense 130 percent he also leads tech types for three hp attack and defense 100 percent so you know he's all right in the leader skill department especially if you're a newer player he does raise defense attack uh on super attack and he does greatly raise attack on super attack as well so he's an attack and defense stacker infinite stack mind you uh, and causes supreme damage. Um, his passive is key one at the start of each turn and defense 70 when facing a Vegeta's family category enemy. So if you're struggling to beat the Vegeta legendary event, he could definitely help. I mean, I don't think he's on any missions you need to complete specifically, but I mean, if you need an extra character just to beat it in general, he could be extremely helpful, right? He also gets uh, attack and defense 100% when performing a super attack and key 7 and attack 70 when HP is 70% or less with a chance of performing a critical hit uh, plus 7 per key sphere obtained up to 30%. So he's got some built-in crit, so you'll definitely want to invest some additionals into him, especially since he's stacking. Um, so all in all, these three units uh, that I would advise you to ch uh, choose uh, in order of priority from the AGL Goten the Fizz Gohan and the Kaioken Goku, they are definitely good picks for your Book of War, especially if you're starting out and you don't have any of them. Some honorable mentions though, uh, maybe you have those three and you don't know who to get, are the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Goku. He's not terrible, I mean he's not the best on the unit and I wouldn't go out of my way to get him, uh, but I mean if, if you don't have if you've got everyone else, it doesn't hurt to pick up him or even a dupe for him, right? Because you could just fill out that dupe and allow yourself to pick up coins later uh, when you summon and you've already got him rainbowed, right? Uh, but anyways, what did he does? He's uh, like most hero extermination plan easy A's. He's key three HP attack and defense. 60% for all types. He raises attack and defense infinitely. He's an infinite stacker. And uh, his passive is attack and defense 150%, plus an additional key three attack and defense 40% for four turns after performing super attack. So he's not the worst, but if you need somebody to fill out a GT Heroes team uh, for a long event and you need somebody that can stack, you know, he's not a terrible choice to pick up if you especially if you don't have them i know i'll probably be picking up a copy of him because uh i actually don't have this guy um and then my second honorable mention is the fizz cooler movie goku uh he's definitely an older unit uh and he easy is from the uh extreme z battle uh for the one that takes the i forget the name of it but it's the one where you have to use the genyu force to beat it uh he's not a bad choice because he's definitely a good uh he's a good filler unit for super battle road uh because of his super attack effect right he causes supreme damage and has a great chance right so that's a 70 percent chance of stunning the enemy um, he gives key to attack and defense 80% and a high chance of performing a critical hit. So you definitely want to throw in additionals into him. And then he also, uh, when you're 50% or more, when you're 49% or less, your key three, a hundred percent and a great chance of performing a critical hit. So he gets stronger, the weaker you are, right? Uh, so anyways, those are the choices for the book of war. Again, top choices are AGL Goten, Tech Color and Goku and Fizz Gohan. Honorable mentions would go to the AGL Super Saiyan 2 
Goku and the Fizz Super Saiyan cooler movie Goku. Um, they did add Int Goten. I'll throw that in here. Um, he's all right, but I. I mean, even if you have the AGL Goten, I would say go for a dupe of him over choosing the Int Goten. Uh, he's 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 not that good at the moment, and he is far outclassed by his AGL counterpart, right? So, anyways, guys, that's the video, and those are my recommendations for who you should pick. Um, let me know in the comments down below uh, if if you agree with my choices and uh, who you plan on picking up with your Book of War. I should also mention you can uh, also just pick up three guys if you don't want to pick up any of these guys. Um, so that, yeah, um, that's the video, guys. Uh, why don't you go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and uh, thanks for watching, and aloha.